this build, you're going to start off with a arena wedge foundation base. You're going to want to raise the foundation as high as you can before placing. When you place the base, you're going to make a hex shape similar to this. Next, you're going to take the sandstone foundation and you're going to extend it two foundations outward. You can choose any side at this point. Once those foundations are placed, you're going to be placing another arena wedge foundation at the end. Once that's placed, you can delete the foundations. At this point, your tower should be six foundations high. We're going to start on the stairs now. With this, we're going to be using the Arena Foundation, Arena Wedge Foundation, and Arena Stairs. We're going to start off by placing Arena Foundations. We're going to stack three of them on top of each other. We're going to wrap around to the side where we're going to stack two. We're going to wrap around one more time where we're going to stack one. Now with the gaps, we're going to use the Arena Wedge Foundation. We're going to stack them at the same height wrapping around the tower. Once those are placed, we're going to place the arena stairs now. As you can see, it's going to be a nice smooth transition as it winds around the base of the tower. Once it's placed now, we're going to be using the arena vaulted ceiling. It's going to be the single. We're going to rotate it to where it has a nice curve coming off of the arena foundation base. Now we're going to connect these two pieces. We're going to use arena vaulted ceilings, the single pieces, once more. We're going to rotate them to where it forms a nice archway. We're going to continue using arena vaulted ceilings, the single pieces. And we're going to wrap these all around this part of the tower. All right, now once those are placed, we're going to be using arena walls, and we're going to be placing them on these vaulted ceilings. Make sure the outer face is facing outwards and not towards the inside of the building. Now we're going to be using the arena window frames. We're going to be placing them on the outside. There's going to be a door that goes here, so leave this one open for a door. All right, next, for this secondary tower, we're going to be using the arena wedge. We're going to be forming shape. We're going to use arena wedges up here as well to fill in these gaps. Alright, now for this part, we're going to be using the Kaitan hatch frame. And you can place it anywhere on one of these openings. I like to place it here to where as soon as you enter, it's just a straight path towards where we access the next level of the tower. We're also going to be placing the arena ceilings to fill in that, and the arena wedge ceilings to place in the tower. Now we're going to be taking the chitin inverted wedge sloped roof. We're going to be placing it on the bottom of these arena wedge pieces where the roof angles down to where it forms a point. We'll also be using the same pieces, we'll be placing them in these gaps. Okay. 
All right, now at this point, we're going to be switching over to our Aqualonian building palette. For this, we're going to be using the Aqualonian frame, the window frame, outer face facing out, and we're just going to wrap this all the way around the tower. Once, that, once that's placed, we're going to be using the Aqualonian roof pieces. For this, I'm going to use the sloped roof and the wedge sloped roof. Once your roof is placed, we're going to be using Aqualonian window frames once more, and we're going to be wrapping these around the top portions of the ceiling. Make sure the outer face is facing outwards. <laughs> to finish the roof, we're going to be using the Aqualonian fence, kind of as a trim all the way around. At this point, we're going to be using arena fences. We're going to be placing these fences along the outside of some portions of the tower, just like this. And we're going to be placing some fences down here as well. Now, with this build, we're almost finished. There's just a couple more pieces we need to add on. The most important part, don't forget your elevator. You need to be able to get into your, your tower. I'm going to place this right here, right up front. With this sloped piece, this uh, enables the elevator to have a nice base to rest on. It looks nice. Now we're going to be taking our hanging war banners. We'll just place these all the way around. Normally I like to line them up with these little gray squares that are part of the Aquilonian window frames. Uh, last but not least, we're going to be placing some witch fire torches. I like to use the wall torches down this way and wrap them around the base of the tower. And then here, I like to use the standing wall torches. And with those placed, that concludes the build.